If you have a Zender MVHR unit, you might be wondering about the controls. Um, so this is a basic handover that we would do for all of our clients at the end of a commissioning stage to explain to them how the system works. Um, so first things first, we'll check the filters and we'll show you how to change them. So to do that, you will go to menu and then to filters. And you can check the filter status. Um, if you go back, menu. So you can check the filter status and it will tell you when the unit first comes on, it will be set at six months and this will count down uh, and it's a temporal setting. So it doesn't work on pressure or anything like that. It's purely that you've had the, um, the system on for 180 days. So you should check the filters uh, and that resets every time you change the filters as well. So to change the filters, you're going to press confirm. Now the unit will power down and that's really important because um, the unit has to uh, power down to prevent uh, any dust or anything getting into the heat exchanger core, which is here, uh, once you've taken out the filters because they are the protective barrier stopping any dust from getting into the heat exchanger core. So uh, once it's powered down, it will tell you to remove the filter caps. I'll do that now. And on the other side, but I'm not going to do that yet, then it will tell you to remove both filters, which they have these tabs here, and they slide out. And you can see this is a fairly new one. So we're just going to imagine that we've replaced it. Uh, we'll press confirm, and um, it will say insert filter on the right side, insert filter on the left side. Now the key thing to remember is that um, where your ducting is insulated above, this is, the duct, this is the airflow that comes from the outside. So this is the filter that needs the F7 uh, type of filter. So it's a higher grade filter. We've got some up there, they're a red color. And then the G4 filter um, is for protecting the heat exchanger core. So that goes on the, the steel ducting side. And so it doesn't need to be as high performance because it's just protecting from dust getting into the heat exchanger core. So we're going to push in our um, new filters and then we're going to close up and that's done. So we do the same for the other side and then we'll skip ahead. So instant filter on the left side, reposition filter caps, filter change complete. And that is how you change the filters on a Zender Q MVHR unit. And normally with our projects, we'll keep um, we'll send the clients a pack of 10 of each and just keep them above the unit just so that they can um, replace them when they're necessary and they're close to hand so that we can regularly replace the filters every year or so.